So I just thought that I'd share with you what I did this weekend. Um, if you didn't notice, this is a picture tube from a small television set. Uh, and what I've done is I've wired it to a flyback transformer. Uh, and what this flyback transformer does is provide the acceleration potential that's necessary to accelerate the electrons from the electron gun in the back of the picture tube to the phosphor screen in the front. Um, I got this flyback transformer out of an old computer monitor um, and I built a driver circuit for it using just a standard power transistor and a couple of resistors. I've connected the deflection yoke of the, um, the picture tube to uh, my Arduino Leonardo and I've written a program for it which produces a raster pattern and essentially what that means is it'll just scroll the beam back and forth up and down as rapidly as it can so in theory that'll create a square I have my benchtop power supply connected up to everything just to provide power for the uh, flyback transformer uh, and also for the heater uh, in order to heat the cathode up enough so electrons begin evaporating from the surface of it. So uh, I'll just go ahead and switch it on. You can immediately start hearing the flyback buzzing and you see this mysterious halo on the uh, picture tube. And as the heater warms up you can see the beam come into a fine point. So now the tube is fully warmed up, and cathode ray tubes are probably one of my favorite inventions because they perfectly demonstrate how electrons respond to a magnetic field. Uh, what I have here is just a standard magnet, uh, and I'm going to manipulate the electron beam inside of the tube using it. I'll turn my lights off so you can see the beam better. And I'll take the magnet, and I'm just going to wave it behind the tube. So you can see how uh, the electrons are attracted to the magnet. If I flip the magnet around, their ouch creates a static field around the picture tube. So if you're not careful, you get shocked. So anyway, that is how uh, the electrons respond to the magnet. Now I'll show you the raster pattern I was talking about. I'm just going to plug in my Arduino to generate the signal to drive the yoke. And there we go. You can see it's creating the rectangle. I don't have it perfectly calibrated, so it's not a perfect square right at the moment, but hey, not too bad for just some parts that I had lying around and uh, an afternoon of tinkering. So that's what I did this weekend.